Hello, LumaTouch fans. Welcome back. It's been a while. Today, we're going to be talking to you about LumaFusion 3.0. In this free update, we're introducing a number of professional features that will help you take your edits to the next level. Without further ado, I'll turn it over to our Seattle team, who will help introduce you to the features one by one. First up is Max. Take it away, Max. Thanks, Josh. We released in a bunch of new features in 3.0, but the one I'm most excited about is the graphic equalizer. With the new EQ, you'll have full control over a wide range of frequencies, making it easier to boost or minimize certain sounds in your project. Let me show you what I mean. Here I have this video of Josh where we captured some pretty major background noise when an airplane passed overhead. Check it out. And the Good Shepherd building is located in the Wallingford neighborhood in Seattle. The shot is usable, except for this low rumble. That's pretty much all one frequency, a perfect job for the graphic equalizer. I'll just open up the equalizer. Now I can see this whole new panel for my EQ. It's resizable. Just grab this little handle here and resize it how you like. Each of these vertical bars represent a range of frequencies, from the lowest tier on the left to the highest over here. You can tweak the same parameters over here on the sidebar as well. Now I'll just do some trial and error to isolate the frequency of that background noise. And Wallingford is just north of downtown. It's got great views of Lake Union, the Space Needle, downtown, and uh, the Olympic and Cascade Mountains. So on a clear day like today, if you're at the very top. And it looks like this range here is where that sounds a bit. So I'll just lower that range a good bit very top of the Good Shepherd Center in uh, the Luma Touch. Sounds like that really helped with that annoying rumble. And now I can save this EQ session as a preset to use in any future project. We've got some more new stuff in store for you, and I'm going to let Andrew take it from here. Thanks, Max. A feature that I'm really excited about is our new integration with audio units. Audio units are third-party effects plugins that we can access from within LumaFusion. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to use an audio unit called Zero Reverb. The first thing you want to do is to open the audio unit app on your device. When you open the audio editor, the plugins are found here. And when I select it, you can see straight away that I get a graphical user interface. All of these controls are active. I'm actually going to turn the mix down right now. Now if I put my clip into play, you'll hear straight away that I'm increasing the reverb. All audio units with a graphical UI will work this way. You'll notice that the controls for each of these plugins also appear on the control stack on the right hand side. So as I change a control on the graphical UI, it will also change in the control stack. If you need more precise control, you can now use a numeric input keypad. And for more about that, here's Nell. Thank you, Andrew. With 3.0, we're rolling out a whole new suite of controls for our clip editors. If you've ever been frustrated while trying to set that slider to just the right amount, you'll appreciate this new numeric input pad. Check it out. All you have to do is tap on this new pencil tool right here. Now you can just enter the number you want directly by each control, or you can use one of the preset values here. You can even save your own preset values just by pressing and holding just like saving color on the color picker panel. If you're creating an effect that relies on some math, you've got a calculator right here. Another place I'm using this feature a lot is in the title editor. If you want to line something up perfectly, simply type in and apply the same value on the same axis for each asset in your title. And now I'm gonna let Scott tell you about our new video stabilizer. Thanks, Nell all the way from Kansas today. LumaFusion users, I've got three words for you. Lock and load. LumaFusion now has video image stabilization. We're partnering with the good folks at CoreMelt. They make a really great stabilizing plugin for Final Cut, and we're using that same engine in LumaFusion now. Let's take a look how it works. Say you forgot your gimbal on your walk in the woods. You shot a clip and it's okay usable, 
but it could be better. I'll just open this up, tap on the stabilizer button on the bottom bar, and here's our new tool. And I'm going to toggle this stabilize switch to get to a starting point. It'll have to process a bit, but that's actually very quick. I'm going to stack that up in a little split screen I already set up so we can really see the before and after. I'll just play that through. Well, that looks pretty darn good. This is the kind of tool that really responds well to experimentation. There are a lot of advanced settings in here. You can read up on these in our user guide. And you've also got these presets up here to get you going. You'll want to play around and develop a feel for what works best for you and your footage as you go along. There's a lot more to say about the lock and load stabilizer in LumaFusion, but right now it's time I hand this off to Jasmine. Thanks, Scott. I have been really excited about it. LumaFusion now supports editing directly from compatible USB-C and Thunderbolt external drives. Go to the Files Library, tap Add Link to Folder, and you should see your hard drive come up. Navigate to a specific folder, or just link the entire drive, and then tap Done. Now, you can access any folder on this drive. But here's the real magic. In 3.0, you can work directly from the drive. No more filling your iPad up with local copies. You can export directly to the drive as well. This is a total game changer. And when you're done, just unplug it and go. And now I'm gonna clear the way for Amy, who has one last little treat to share. Thanks, Jasmine. And now we just have one more thing we wanna show you, and I love this. You know how in LumaFusion, you have the workspace options to choose from down here? Well, we know that sometimes you want more flexibility in your workspace, and that's why we've included this resize handle here. Say you wanna look through a huge library of clips and you don't wanna do a bunch of scrolling, just grab the handle and drag it to resize. Big library. Or you have a project with a ton of tracks? Let's just make space for that big timeline. Or I can preview my work. I love this flexibility. And if you wanna get back to the default layout, you just double tap that T handle or quit the app. And that's it. Okay, I've actually moved to a room with a monitor because there's one more bonus thing I wanna show you. In LumaFusion 3.0, working with an external monitor just got a bit nicer. Now, when you're connected to an external monitor, just tap this button here. You can see the preview on both the iPad and your big monitor instead of having to choose one or the other. It feels really intuitive to have both views available. That's it. Back to you, Josh. Thanks, team. LumaFusion 3.0 is the start of a number of new professional features coming soon to the app. For the latest updates, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. There we share resources about video editing, customer projects, and updates about what is to come for LumaFusion. As always, if you have questions, want to talk video editing, or just say hello, please email us at support at luma-touch.com. We absolutely love speaking with customers and helping bring your stories to life using LumaFusion. Until next time, stay safe and healthy, and of course, happy editing. <laughs>